Hello YouTube and welcome to another Battle for Azeroth video. This is the Vengeance Demon Hunter talent changes for the alpha build so far for the expansion. This is what we have. Of course, it's very early. It will definitely be changed. So keep that in mind. This is just a quick glance. So if you're watching this anytime later than February 2018, maybe March, um, probably all of this has changed already. So yeah, but without further ado, let's just hop right into it. And we can actually see that the first tier doesn't actually have any new changes. Abyssal Strike still reduces the cooldown of Infernal Strike and increases its range. Agonizing Flame gives movement speed to Immolation Aura when you pop it and more damage. Razor Spikes gives you more physical damage when you have Demon Spikes and it also snares your target for 70% movement speed. Feast of Souls, now the numbers change a little bit, I think it's a little bit higher than what we have on live, um, although this is still a shit talent, well, I'm not sure if it's, if it's going to be used, as opposed to any of the others which are far superior, Fallout basically makes your Emolotion Aura spawn Soul Fragments, which is fantastic, I mean, it synergizes with most of your other abilities, and Burning Alive makes your Fiery Brand spread, and of course the extra fire damage, and later on it synergizes even more with other talents, Flame Crash also the same, uh, when you land with Infernal Strike you leave a Sigil of Flame and Charred Flesh, this is actually new. This is from the uh, Artifact Trade if I'm not mistaken, I'm not sure if it was changed but I think the numbers are actually the same. Fiery Brand uh, makes the target take 20% more fire damage from you, especially if you get Burning Alive, I mean AoE targets start to get more fire damage. Really good in Mythic Plus. Fell Blades, uh, you charge, you deal damage, you generate pain, uh, pretty simple. Shear has a chance to reset the cooldown because it is on a 15 second cooldown. It's probably one of the best uh, pain generators that you have. It's really cool, cool and quick. Now for the 104 talent tier, we have the defensive talent tier, which is Soul Rending that increases our leech. We already have this, although the numbers, again, every number that we see, you see here, basically take it with a grain of salt because it most likely will change. Feed the demon, now we already had this on live, this was useful at some point during uh, mythic rating I believe. Uh, every soul fragment that you consume reduces the cooldown of demon spikes uh, on live, it's 1 second, now it's 0.5, so... We're gonna see a lot of nerfs, that's for sure. Now Fracture, this has been changed, this is actually really cool. It will replace Shear, which is really nice. Now, it will generate pain instead of consuming it, because obviously it replaces Shear. You have two charges on it with a 4.5 second recharge. And of course, you still shatter to, uh, to souls. This is guaranteed shatter, so this is interesting, because it will replace uh, Shear. I'm not sure how to do, deal with this. It's on a 4.5 second recharge. That means you'll need to generate pain through other means as well. And... Um, I'm not sure if this will get buffed in Metamorphosis, we still don't know, we'll have to see. Now, the next talent here concerning the sigils hasn't really been changed, Concentrated Sigils still the same. Now, we, when you pop the sigils, you don't place them, they just pop under your feet and their effects last for 2 more seconds. Also really good because, of course, you would want the Silence and the Fear to last longer, plus the AoE dot for 2 more seconds is nice, uh, basically helps with AoE packs clearing and threat. Sigil of Change, this is really cool, I wish we could see more of this, I really liked using this. Uh, it's a, basically a mini Gorfin's Grasp on a 1.5 minute cooldown, obviously. Uh, you pull targets to the center and you snare them for 70% movement speed, which is really good. Quicken Sigil is probably what you will see everybody using at this moment, it's probably one of the best performing ones. Sigils activate one second faster and they have a 20% second cooldown reduction, same as live. This is still a good talent, I'm not gonna go over into it, but um, nothing actually changed here. Now, for the next talent here, however, we do have Gluttony, which is another talent taken from the uh, artifact weapon. When you consume a soul fragment, you have a chance to pop meta, which actually is a core mechanic that we need as Vengeance Demon Hunters uh, to help with our survivability since our damage intake is spiky and this uh, smooths it out, it's not 100% uptime, but it helps the healer get back uh, on its feet and um, with other things, of course. Fell Devastation, now, um, this used to be one of the go-to talents early in the expansion, now it has been, uh, well, it hasn't really been nerfed. Uh, the numbers change, though. 
And basically performs the same way, you deal AoE damage for 2 seconds, hard AoE damage for 2 seconds, and you heal for a little bit more than half, or well, probably a little bit more than half the damage you deal, who knows. 52% uh, of attack power. Um, basically it's a defensive cooldown, you do deal a lot of damage, but you probably would want to use this for the heal. However, it is on the same tier as Gluttony and Spirit Bomb, which has been changed as well. It will replace Soul Cleave. Again, very interesting. Um, now, instead of Soul Cleaving, we do this. We don't have a cooldown anymore, and it consumes only three Soul Fragments because, well, it replaces Soul Cleave. However, we still do the Frailty uh, debuff for 10% of our damage. Um, the damage that Spirit Bomb basically does is significantly reduced. Now... Usually, when uh, you go on live now and you play with Spirit Bomb, you kind of want to use Spirit Bomb instead of Soul Cleave. And I assume this is why you replace it, like I mentioned in the guide. I don't really see very good opportunities to use Soul Cleave instead of Spirit Bomb, at least in Mythic High to Medium High content. Because although it doesn't heal as much, it deals a lot more damage, which is what you want in Mythic Plus. You want to clear packs faster. Now, this does significantly reduce more damage, so I don't know how this will work out. They probably tested something out, they probably know what they're doing. Mm, the numbers are not definite, but it's a significant damage reduction, considering that the damage that you would get for each soul consumed is about 160 or 180% of your attack power on live, as opposed to 28, plus you can consume 5 soul fragments. Keep that in mind, not 3, so... Eh. Last year, we still have the last resort, which functions the same as the live one. Cheat death, instead of dying, you pop meta and you get 30% of your health in meta. And uh, it lasts for about uh, 5 seconds, I believe. It doesn't say. I'm not sure if the time frame will change. This can only occur 8 minutes. Now, we're missing a talent and I'm actually curious what they're gonna do here. I believe they're probably gonna pull one out from the artifact weapon. I am not sure. Probably for balance purposes, they're Testing multiple options, my 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 impression, I don't know. Maybe they're gonna give us a new talent, that would be cool. That would be cool, so we can do something new. Soul Barrier, more or less the same as live. It's on a 30 second cooldown, it gives you a base shield, and the shield is stronger for each soul you consume, because it consumes the souls around you, and um, you can pop a really nice defensive. Now this is on a 30 second cooldown, which essentially um, you can use a couple of times on a boss fight, you can use it for uh, almost every big trash pack in Mythic Plus so far, but we'll have to see. This is the current changes, uh, this, these are the current changes for the talents of course, for Vengeance, and uh, I'm looking to see what they will update because right now I'm a little bit, eh, I don't know where to go from here, there's some cool things, I like how they replaced a couple of abilities with talent options, but I need to see how they work out. So tell me what you think guys. Give us your feedback, comment in the section below. What do you want to see? What do you think this will be? What artifact trait you think this should be that we cannot live without? I'm curious to know what you guys think. And of course, if you like the video, please subscribe. It helps our channel out. Let us know that you like our video. Of course, and if you like the video, like the video. <laughs> That's even better. And uh, we're growing, we want to get bigger, so we like your feedback, and of course, until next, next time guys, peace!